sun is out. Good morning. Okay, the coffee. Don't feel like porridge this morning. Coffee is fine. And then pick the tent. And yeah, get going. It's 7.30. I want to leave you at 8. Uh, 15 kilometers to Legnes. And I want to make it before the sports shop closes at 5 p.m. So that's that's today today's deadline. And I want to be there in order to buy more trekking food otherwise I have to buy something even more heavy to eat not good <laughs> all right let's enjoy the view and have coffee All cleaned up, ready to go. It is five past eight. Back on the path, and yeah, people from the path could have easily seen me. It was there, but who cares? <laughs> That's the lake where I got my drinking water from. Yeah, cannot recommend drinking from it without a proper water filter. Looks like I survived it, but yeah, only with water filter. So whenever it opens up like this, it gets windy, of course. That's in the wind up the mountain coming from the ocean there. I think in the distance that should be Norway mainland and direction is because it's morning uh, should be east east southeast something like that yeah 20 minutes in and then here the path goes down and then up again yeah. that would have destroyed me yesterday so I'm happy I camped earlier these weird thoughts that come to my mind. Well, now, if you have watched some of my videos, you already know that I have weird thoughts all over the place. Okay, just a funny thought that came to my mind. I was just thinking about, okay, what am, am I going to eat tonight? I'm thinking about food now because I had no breakfast. So I think, okay, what do I have? I'll go to a restaurant there. For sure I will go to a restaurant if I make it in time. What do I eat? Mm, a burger, pizza. Yeah, these are these extreme things that you want. Eh? <laughs> oh, and I thought, ah, oh, now I'm in Norway. Should be fish, like fish and chips again. <laughs> but what about pizza eh, with fish and chips on top? What do the Italians say to it? <laughs> Is it okay? Okay, just a quick recap of last night, just to wrap it up. The night was very good. The place was wonderful. It was a dream, really. I was cool that I arrived so late, so I really got to see the like how it looks like at midnight, the midnight sun sunset time. Wow, <laughs> sleep was good. You never sleep even on these wild campsites. So at least I struggled to find it super even, but it was fine. I was so tired, I could have slept standing. Yeah? And yeah, again, there was no noise. Let me go a bit out of the wind. Again, like all the other nights, it's completely quiet here. No birds. The only thing I heard were the sheep 
because they have bells around the neck. So I had them, but in the far distance, they never came close. So that's everything. And then, yeah, some, a little bit of wind, but not much. But then, I think it was again, it was 120, 130. I walk up, and I don't know what that was. Was it a dream? You let me know. Was it a dream? Because I heard beeping sound. I can only describe it as the beeping sound of maybe a GoPro camera. You know, it made beep, 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 beep. Bit irregular. And stopped again. Then it was beeping again. And it was stopped again for five minutes. And I was like, what is that? I checked all my gear, my equipment. Is there? my GoPro on? Is the, the drone on? What is beeping here? Because I was charging my st some stuff. But I checked everything, nothing was beeping. I thought, is, did I leave something outside that's beeping? Now, <laughs> I have no explanation. In the end, well, in the end, I, it stopped and I continued sleeping with my explanation that it was an electronic bell around the sheep neck. Like not just the bim 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 bim, but kind of a beeping sound whenever the, the sheep moved, it was beeping. Beep beep beep. So more, uh, yeah. I don't know, does such a thing exist? If not, then maybe it was a dream. <laughs> First climb of the day. Not so steep, not so steep than the one yesterday before the campsite. But deep enough to make me sweating and puffing. I can still feel that the legs are complaining from yesterday. Almost at the top here. Try to figure out if I can see my campsite from here. But I'm not, I'm not sure. Was it up there? I don't know. Or maybe it was a bit further away. I think it was more away. Huh. Thinking about <clears throat> the situation that I took a taxi yesterday to the trailhead and I wonder if I will get roasted for that in the YouTube comments <laughs> but looking back now thinking I mean arrived I arrived at that wild camping spot at 10 p.m. completely exhausted Without a taxi in the beginning, that wouldn't have worked. Okay, I could have tried to hitchhike, I admit that. But still, I had to use a transport, I'd use a car or a bus if I had been there earlier. Is it more honorful to hitchhike? <laughs> no, maybe I should not care about these things. That lake over there would have been yesterday's uh, day four destination. Yeah, I'm already uh, one hour in. That would have been quite a late evening yesterday. In the backside behind the hill, you can already see houses of Legness. So once I'm down there, I have to find somehow, I think it goes up the hill because I have to still make 200 meters up today. So maybe somewhere a path up and then it's 400 meters down on the other side. And altogether from there, from that hut there, you cannot, cannot see it. I will show you the path will go there. Uh, oh, why am I not pointing the camera at me? <laughs> so yeah, then from there it will be 12-ish kilometers. <sighs> Let's do it. I'm speed. I regret now that I did not eat the porridge this morning because now I feel stomach is empty and I feel a little lack of energy so maybe that's the lesson learned out of it <laughs> on a hike like this in the morning you have to eat something even if you're not hungry you just force it in 
you will need that. Okay, getting closer to the lake now. Is there camping here? Wild camping? I think so. Yeah, not a lot. It's not very flat here. I don't think it's wet. Check it out. Nah. Good to camp here. Heaps of space to camp. But, I have to say, my spot was more beautiful, top of the mountain. <laughs> so, around 10 now, I've walked two hours without a real break. I just stopped to talk to you guys or to film myself. So, two hours, it would have been two hours more pure walking time to my hike yesterday. <laughs> okay, getting closer to this shelter there. Shelter, cabin, hut, I don't know how to call it, but it's free to use. I think inside are some places to sleep. There's even one tent there, it's a bit camouflaged. Oop. Ooh, hope there's enough life, uh, light for the camera. Oh, so cool here. The stove. And then you have like four, well maybe one, two, three mattresses, uh, some blankets, pots, fire extinguisher. We have a lot. You can cook here in bad weather, sitting here. That's it. Visitor's book, guest book. Cozy. Short stop. Now it's time to move on. Hey, don't be scared. <laughs> cool. The natural roof here. <laughs> Very nice. Check out the other side. The window there. Go, I am speed. Break took a bit longer than expected, 10 30 now. So I spent almost half an hour there. I had to fill up a water bottle and I met the couple who camp there was their tent. There was no one in the cabin but yeah, the couple was still there they were eating in front of the cabin so I had a little chat with them. Of course French <laughs> interesting and I asked them and the guy uh, agreed yeah, he said yeah it's very seems to be very popular in France they have big hiking online groups where they exchange information stuff like that yeah they go in the opposite direction they go with the flow I'd say they didn't have a real plan where they go today so that's why they also leave very late 10 30 
It's cool. If you have all the time, just relax. You don't have to be here at a certain place at a certain time. And now day five has started. The official day five. <laughs> For me, also 10.30. Let's see how early we arrive in Legnes. We can make it to the shop or not. I'm speed. I'm optimistic. Goodbye, Lake. Heading into other direction now to Legnes. Closer to civilization, you can tell. Path a bit more maintained here. No more mudslides. Okay, can we come out here and meet a gravel road? That's fine. Whew. It's half past twelve. Signs of civilization. <laughs> no. So we're here in Lignes, something like that. Uh, seems to be a suburb of Lignes, almost there. Uh, I just walked maybe half an hour along the main road uh, in order to skip this, this longer route. If you have more time, uh, you can do a longer route, uh, which is pretty much goes all over the hill there. So <laughs> a lot of a lot of up and down and I yeah decided for myself okay I don't need it anymore it's just some lookouts I've already seen Lekness from a much better higher viewpoint so I don't need to go up there so <sighs> let's go to Lekness the route designers route designers is that even a word I don't know so the designers <laughs> of the suggested route of the the Foden crossing. Uh, yeah, they do a very good job to uh, stay away from the roads. So this was a good example. If you look on the map, you can tell, okay, this is just a loop. <laughs> loop they do in order to, to not be on the road. There's no other reason, I think. If there's another reason, if there's something super spectacular up there and I missed it, let me know in the comments. <laughs> so even go here now through, through this neighborhood. It's just a tiny little loop to stay away from the route, uh, from the road. So good job to the route designers. And here we are, 
the wife to my accommodation for tonight. Ah. Nice view, some motorbikes. <laughs> okay, very simple, but I was sleeping very well here. Ah. Happy that the uh, check-in was already open. It's 2 p.m. now. Normally it's 3 p.m. So now I have time to shower uh, and then very relaxed head over to the Intersports shop, go shopping, oh, just go shopping. <laughs> okay, keep you updated. All right, guys, little update here, handheld. <laughs> uh, yeah, I made it to uh, get all my, my groceries. The, the sports shop was still open. I got my, my trekking food. Really interesting, cool, uh, Nordic flavors, I'd say. You will see when I when I open and, and cook them. But another situation came up, a very you know, change of plans. Uh, seems that the weather forecast, forecast for tomorrow is very bad. Yeah. It starts raining tomorrow morning and stops raining on Sunday morning. So tomorrow is Saturday. It rains 24 hours and as you know I'm a good weather camper and that's one thing and the second thing is I don't think anyone wants to see a whole day of hiking in the rain clouds miserable so something that already happened on the afternoon of the second day I don't think that's interesting. It's not interesting for me. It's not interesting for you guys. Uh, so I've decided to spend here one more night. I will continue Sunday morning with day six. Yeah, it's supposed to be a beautiful day uh, all the way down to Nus Nusfjord. Yeah, Nusfjord. And I really want to have good weather there to show you the beauty of the Lofoten. So. It's a, I would call it a win-win situation. Yeah? You get uh, good weather videos. Uh, I get good weather camping <laughs> and good weather hiking. Yeah, I, I also personally I don't want to spend a rainy day here. It's, it's no. And the thing is, I have one flexible day. Yeah, so I have one extra day just for this situation. I have one extra day in case of something goes wrong or I'm delayed or luggage gets lost. Or, or a rainy day that's there for exactly this situation in a perfect world and perfect situation I would have used this flex day in the end to do another hike yeah but now I'm using it for its real purpose I'm skipping one day because of bad weather yeah that's my decision and show you some flowers I wish I could show you some kittens to cheer you up, but yeah, maybe it's also good for my old body to have a recovery day to recharge because the upcoming six days then yeah, upcoming six days will be harder than what I've done so far. Hmm. <laughs> so maybe good to have the body recovered. Have everything washed, everything cleaned, have my my wounds healed. Everyone wants to see my leg. No, okay. Scratches here. <laughs> yeah, bites. Yeah, maybe I have to censor it later. I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I thought a long time about it. Shall I do it or not? Because of course there's extra costs here. I have to pay for the accommodation one more night and just stay here tomorrow in the rain yeah there's nothing to do in the rain but decision is done gotta live with it things happen for a reason and the reason in this case is I am speed and I am a good weather camper <laughs> okay if you don't hear from me today again then I thank you that you stayed with me today it was a rather short hike here to Lekness and but I promise you the next videos 
will be more outdoor and more longer and much longer again and more wild camping and and crazy stories and yeah so stick with me please thank you and bye bye i'm out i'm speed and i'm speed that's what i wanted to say oh i really need to sleep <laughs>